Northern Kentucky University recently announced their plans to go test blind for their application process beginning in the 2021 fall semester. Prior to the change, the admissions application required students to submit a high school transcript and an ACT or SAT score for admission. Now, including ACT and SAT scores will be optional. We determined that students are able to apply to NKU if they have a 2.75 or higher unweighted GPA. They can be reviewed for admission without submitting standardized test score like ACT or SAT. Students with a 2.749 or below are still required to submit ACT or SAT scores. Students are still encouraged to submit their ACT and SAT scores with their applications if they have them for course placement, and those who do not have a test score on file will be asked to take a placement test. The first NKU program to go test blind was the Honors College in the fall of 2019, opting to use three essays in place of their test scores. After their first semester at NKU, they actually averaged a 3.6 college GPA, which was higher than the years before when we looked at test scores. So it turned out that those test scores really weren't predicting the success of those students. In fact, when we got rid of the test scores and welcomed a larger class of incoming freshmen, those students performed better in their first year. They got a higher GPA after their first year than the students from previous years. According to Boos, research indicates that standardized test scores don't provide an accurate prediction for whether a student is college ready. The National Collegiate Honors College has published about a decade's worth of research that standardized test scores have almost zero predictability whether or not a student is successful in college or not. There were students who got 3.5 high school GPAs but didn't do well in the SAT or ACT and we were telling them they weren't ready for college and putting all these barriers in place. And I think what we're able to do now is to recognize that high school record is probably more indicative of what they can do in college. So we'll knock down those barriers and let those students be successful. Multiple studies, according to Gorbin and Boos, prove that the best indicators for college readiness come from a student's previous high school performance. We find that multiple studies show that a student's high school GPA, that's the best predictor of college success versus using standardized test scores. The greatest thing that standardized test scores predict is the socioeconomic status of the student's parent even more so than whether or not they'll do well in college. It really disadvantages students who are low income, first generation, come from areas where there's not standardized test score preparation, and we don't want to disadvantage those students. In the Honors College, Booth says that the application is more robust than ever, looking at high school performance, GPAs, and reading through three personal essays for every student. The goal for both NKU and the Honors College is to create an environment to support their students and help them learn. NKU is very committed to our students, and I think this shows another approach approach for us considering how we can serve our students and support them through their academic journey. And I'm excited that NKU has worked tremendously to study our research and we feel confident that we have the resources available to serve students that are admissible to NKU.